Hi everybody, it's Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions again with another tip of the week. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Variable Pull Direction Draft Tool. So if you take a look at the model I've got down there, I've got this flange that essentially is in the middle of my model. But what I would like to do is on this very top surface, I'd like to put some draft on there. If I use the conventional draft tool, it'll split it and put a taper in two different directions, but that'll be flat planar draft. And what I really want to do is basically follow around that flat surface with a cone or a conical type of draft. So the process kind of goes like this. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, intent selection tool here, and I just grabbed all of my surfaces by using the intent selection tool. Now I'm going to go in for variable pull direction draft. Because I've already pre-selected my references, I don't need to select any surfaces. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say I want to hinge around this inside edge. Now I can hinge around the inside edge or I can hinge around the outside edge. And again, I'm going to chain that entire edge right now. Okay. Now, just a quick explanation on the variable pull direction draft tool. It differs from the standard draft tool in a manner of when you use the, when you do your first selection, you're actually selecting surfaces that are going to be on the outside of your draft that are going to define where your draft is. And then the hinge point is just as it describes. It's going to be a hinge. So it's not like the draft tool where you actually select the surfaces themselves that you want to put the angle on. So I'm going to now change the handle direction here. And now I'm just going to increase the draft angle there. And bear in mind here with the variable pull direction draft tool, I can exceed the 30 degree limit that you have on the regular draft tool. Now you'll notice with my preview that the draft has been added and it's following that profile all the way around there. Awesome tool for use, especially when you get in these more complex situations. I didn't have to do a blend there or a sweep or anything to that effect. I was able to very quickly go in and introduce that taper. Now let's say I want to go back in here and, and do some editing. Also, because of the fact that I had used the uh, variable pull direction draft tool and I used my intent surfaces, I can now make some minor changes here if I would like to in order to accommodate a change in design. So let's explore that a little bit. So I'm going to come in here and you'll notice what I've done is I've used the freestyle modeling tool. Okay, and I'm going to just scale this back a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, make a change in my and now that I've made that change in there to decrease and neck that down a little bit, because I'd use those intent surfaces, it kept that variable direction, the variable pull direction draft tool just where I needed it. So I hope this has been a beneficial tip of the week. If you want some more information on that variable pull direction draft tool, feel free to reach out to your friendly EAC account manager. Let them know you saw it on Doug's tip of the week. Be more than happy to get with you and explore it further. Again, this is Doug Hippie with another EAC Product Development Solutions Creo Parametric Tip of the Week. Have a great week, everybody.